back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get 500 horsepower out of your B58 engine. Now before this video starts, I would like to say thank you to everybody that watched my other video on the N54 on how to start from 300 horsepower to 500 horsepower under $1,500. That video did exceptionally well. I got over 40,000 views on it and I just like to tell everybody thank you for that. So if you like these kind of videos, just let me know and tell me what engine you want me to do down below in the comments. So without further ado, let's get started. So B58 engine is what comes in all the BMW 40i's and also the Supra. And the B58 engine is very strong and can hold a good amount of power. People found this out basically when the new A90 Supra came out. So step one, probably the very first thing you want to get done to your car is going to be spark plugs. Usually the spark plugs tend to go out, especially with tunes and things after 20,000 miles and then you'll have misfiring problems. So to get that out of the way from the very beginning, make sure you get some spark plugs. OEM ones will do fine and if you got a bigger turbo, maybe you want to go a step colder. But for right now, we're focusing on the stock turbo and to get 500 crank horsepower. The spark plugs are going to run you around like $63 for the stock OEM one. Alright, so number two, our second thing on the list is going to be an intake. So the cheapest and the best sounding intake I can think of is probably the Berger Motorsports air intake. So the Berger Motorsports factory intake is basically just a filter that goes on there with a map sensor little adapter. Basically it just pops off the cover of your airbox. I actually do have a install video of that if you want to subscribe you can watch the whole entire build series. We're gonna be doing all these mods that I mentioned, by the way, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. So having that air intake on your car will allow the turbo to suck in more air and also give you more power, babe. And will also let the turbo spool up a little bit quicker. I do actually recommend this as a supporting mod because when you start adding more boost, your turbo is going to be wanting to suck in more air and that will allow it to have more air to suck into. But being that this mod doesn't add a whole lot of power, the sound of it in person, I'm not going to say video does it no justice at all, but in person it sounds really freaking cool and I think that is worth it alone. Starting at $179, it should give you around 10 to 20 ish wheel horsepower. All right, so now we are on to number three. The third thing I'm gonna recommend is a tune. So depending on tunes, there's a lot of easy tunes that you can get for your car, or you can get a custom tune if that's what you prefer. There's three main tunes that people go with the B58 engine. So the first one I'm going to recommend is probably the JB4. It's probably the easiest one to do. They give you a little plastic module thing that you plug into your ECU and some other sensors on the car. And you can also get a JB4 Bluetooth adapter if you use a Bluetooth adapter, you can hook it up to your iPhone or Android device and you can check all your different gauges. You have a boost gauge and they have like a whole entire list of like probably 20 different gauges you can check out on there. And you can also go from map to map with it as well. So the JB4 is a piggyback tune. It's not a tune that flashes your ECU. So it just tricks the car into thinking that it's making a certain amount of power when it's actually not. Uh, some people think it's unsafe. Uh, I think it's probably the safest tune you can go with, but I'm not going to get into that. It's a very controversial discussion. Next on my list is MHD. The MHD is probably the leader in the most power in the B58 platform. MHD, you can download their app, flash your ECU with a OBD2 cable or a Wi-Fi adapter for it, but you'll need to use a phone for that. It will either be an Android or Apple device, like I said earlier. And they have a good bit of, of different maps that you can choose from them. So the third and final one on my list for tunes is probably the Boot Mod 3. The Boot Mod 3, also known as BM3. You can choose different maps that they provide to you as well, but I do think that you have to use a computer or a Android device for that setup at the moment. So the JB4 is probably going to run you around $530. The Boot Mode 3 is probably going to run you around $600. And MHD is going to be around $440 depending on what maps you pick. With any of these maps, you should get around 70 to 80 wheel horsepower out of these. Okay guys, we are on mod number 4 and that is going to be Catless Downpipes. <laughs> So now that you got that air intake installed on your car that's sucking in all that air, you're going to have to get all that air out of the turbo by getting a catless downpipe. The stock downpipe has so much back pressure 
it's not good for a turbocharged car. I know that naturally aspirated cars do need a little bit of back pressure to help them perform, but turbos need all the air they can get, get rid of all the air they can get out. So stocked out pipe, extremely restrictive, get those cats out of there. So you wanna get a catless downpipe to get the most flow out of your B58 engine. I'm gonna say that VRSF is probably the best downpipes you can get for the price and the quality of the parts. A catless downpipe is probably gonna gain you around 30-ish wheel horsepower. Now we are into mod number five. It's not really a mod, but it's fueling. A lot of people go with meth injection and a lot of people go with E85. I feel like E85 is probably an easier route to go with but you can also do meth injection as well. If you wanna look up videos about that, you can go ahead as well. Or if you want me to talk about it, you can let me know down in the comments down below. But since I'm gonna be talking about E85, E85 is probably gonna give you around a 30 wheel horsepower gain. With any of the tunes I mentioned, E85 maps are available on those tunes. But the B58 stock fueling system probably can only support up to E30 mix. The newer M340i and the A90 Supra can also support up to E50 mix. Speaking of the newer B58 motor that comes in the M340i and the new Supra, uh, all these mods you can do to that as well, but you'll actually gain a little bit more power than the older B58 generation has. The reason why you will gain a little bit more power is because I'm pretty sure the turbos are slightly different. I don't know if they're bigger, but I know that they're different and flow better, and also some other little differences. But with the older B58, with all these mods, you should be making around 450 to 460 wheel horsepower, which with a 15% drive loss, you should actually be a little bit over 500 crank. And also if you do these mods on the A90 Supra and the new M340i, you should be around 480 to 490 wheel horsepower, almost 500 wheel horsepower. That would be insane.